at right wing. Reggie Leach could spectacularly swing. As a member of the Philadelphia Flyers, he earned a Stanley Cup ring. The Riverton Rifle became his nickname. From 1972 to 1974, Leach used his wheels. He scored seven game-winning goals for the California Golden Seals. In 73-74, Reggie came to the Seals' aid. In the first of three straight seasons, he led the NHL in games played. In 1974, Leach was traded to the NHL champions, the Philadelphia Flyers, so he brought his winning desires. In 1974-1975, Reggie's 10 game winning goals were scored with his hockey sticks. His 45 goals <laughs> led Philadelphia, <laughs> and he had three hat tricks. 1974-75, he scared that. a lot of men practices. Yeah, <laughs> practices. <laughs> On 5-27-75 at Buffalo's Memorial Auditorium, Philadelphia was fired up. In Game Six of the NHL Finals, Leach's Flyers clinched the Stanley Cup. In 1975-1976. Reggie's 51 even strength goals led the NHL, so he shot well from afar. He earned second team right wing and was selected as an all-star. Leach's 11 game winning goals were divine. 141 goals were scored by Philadelphia's LCB line. Reggie demonstrated his awesome aim. He led the NHL with 61 goals and an average of .76 goals per game. On 5-6-76 at the Spectrum, Philadelphia wasn't in ruins. Reggie's five goals tied a playoff single game record, so they defeated the Boston Bruins. On 5-9-76 in Game 1 of the NHL Finals, Leach set a record due to his terrific technique, which was a goal in his 10th consecutive playoff game, so he was on a scoring streak. In the 1976 postseason, Reggie's playoff record of 19 goals was adored, so he earned the Conn Smythe Award. In the 1976 Canada Cup for Team Canada, Leach's goal and his assists were much fun, so in the international tournament, his club won. From 10-14-79 to 1-6-80, Leach's Flyers reached their peak because they set a professional sports record with a 35-game unbeaten streak. On 2-5-80 at the NHL All-Star Game, Leach's goal and assist were key. So at Detroit's Joe Louis Arena, he was named the MVP. In 1979-1980, Reggie was supreme. His 50 goals led the team. Leach would excel. His 41 even strength and four short-handed goals led the NHL. In 1991, Reggie and his son Jamie weren't hockey beginners. When Jamie won with Pittsburgh, the Leach family featured two Stanley Cup winners. In the Northern Ontario Junior Hockey League, Leach implements an awesome approach. For the Manitoulin Islanders, he's their director of operations and head coach. Reggie Leach can effectively teach. Players soar. His hockey schools across Canada are called shoot to score. With his 381 career goals and 285 assists, Reggie worked hard in every game. He should be inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Absolutely. Therefore, Leach should belong. So listen to We the Underside, John K. Sampson's song. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Leach. That Thank you, every. Thank you. But the goals and assists, it's all the 666.